Smith, please join me in welcoming our host for today's christening ceremony, Mr. Brian Cushius, President of English Shipbuilding, Executive Vice President, Huntington English Industries. Good morning to everybody on this wonderful shipbuilding day. It doesn't get much better than this. We do have a special group of military veterans that are with us today that I would like to welcome back to English Shipbuilding. The Armed Forces Retirement Home in Gulfport is home to more than 400 men and women that represent all the service branches. These residents have served in World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and recipients of the Bronze Star, Silver Star, and the Lone Sailor Award. Ladies and gentlemen, the Armed Services Retirement Home, would you please stand or wave so we can say thank you for your service. Well, we're honored to have Mrs. Laura Cavallo, the great niece of our ship's namesake, here with us today as our ship's sponsor. Laura, so glad to have you today. Our ninth national security cutter is named to honor Commander Elmer Archie Stone, a pioneer in the Coast Guard aviation and of naval aviation in general. He earned the Congressional Medal of Achievement, the Navy Cross, and was inducted to the United States Aviation Hall of Honor and the U.S. Coast Guard Hall of Fame, among many other accolades. It's certainly fitting that this particular ship is named after Commander Stone, a Coast Guard legend in his own right. All Ingalls built ships are built with one goal in mind, to safeguard the brave men and women who take these ships to sea to protect our freedoms. In Stone, we've proven once again, American workers, Ingalls shipbuilders, can take on some of the most challenging manufacturing projects in the world. Our Ingalls and Coast Guard team continues to get stronger and better with every ship we produce. I would ask that the shipbuilders that are building stone, would you please stand and be recognized? In closing, I would like to thank you again for coming to this historic event. I ask that God bless the crew and the officers who will serve on this great ship, and may God bless America. Thank you. I spent many hours with the men and women of our Coast Guard, and I know that we have some of the best and brightest individuals patrolling our waters. Last week, I had the opportunity to tour Sector Charleston of the Coast Guard 7th District the home of NSC James and Hamilton, and the future home of NSC Stone. As I'm sure most of you know, both of those national security cutters were handcrafted here at Ingalls and in Pascagoula by the world's best shipbuilders. Both of these cutters have aided our Coast Guard in their important mission to ensure our nation's maritime safety, security, and stewardship. Personally, I think Senator Wicker would agree with me we need more national security cutters, not less. Again, thank you all, and may God bless our United States Coast Guard. Thank you. This is indeed a special day. The sun is shining. This ship is gleaming. Our faces are beaming with smiles. The Commandant is here, the leader of the greatest Coast Guard in the history of the world. We hosted the Chief of Naval Operations here yesterday, and we're here at the best shipyard in the United States of America. We're here with a company that believes in its 11,000 plus workers that invest in state-of-the-art safety methods with a corporate philosophy that relies on its own workers to develop better productivity techniques. When we see the capabilities of our Coast Guard today, the C-130s, the HC-144s, the C-27s, the drones, fixed wing and rotary, the MH-65, the MH-60 helicopters, we are amazed and truly impressed and we realize this morning that we stand on the shoulders of Elmer Stone. And we're glad to honor the memory of this great American. Congratulations, and God bless America. 
I want to talk a little bit about Elmer Stone. Elmer Stone was commissioned in 1913 as a revenue cutter service, third lieutenant. And, and what he did in the course of three short years, from 1916 until 1919, he established himself as a, a fearless aviator. And you had to be fearless in those days, given what they were flying. And as a, a real visionary that could see how aviation could contribute to the missions of not just the Coast Guard, but the nation as a whole. And so, as Senator Wicker said, it is no exaggeration to stand here today and say that every Coast Guard aviator that has taken to the air since that time has literally stood on the shoulders of Elmer Stone because the things that he represented, we have tried to live up to over the course of the last 101 years. He commanded two Coast Guard cutters. He commanded a Naval Air Station. And he also commanded Coast Guard Air Stations. He was on the front end of developing the catapult systems, the catch systems that enabled the shipboard aviation team, which has made the United States the most powerful nation on the planet. Captain Morrison, as you and your crew continue to make stone ready for operations, I wish you Godspeed. I know that you know this, but this cutter is named after one of the greatest people that's ever worn the Coast Guard uniform in the history of our nation. And so you stand on a firm legacy if you add your chapter to the legacy of the United States Coast Guard. And I wish you the very best. And then finally, I want to thank the shipbuilders here at Huntington Ingalls. I, I visited Stone before she was in the water last year. And I talked to some of the shipbuilders in, and you could just tell the difference. They weren't building a ship. They were building a Coast Guard cutter. They were building a ship that was going to do the deeds our nation needed them to do. And I will tell you all, I don't know where this ship's going to sail. Nobody does. We know where her first home port's going to be, but over the course of the next 40 years, she will literally go around the world, protect you and me and our grandchildren and our grandchildren's children. And so I thank you for the dedicated workers here at Huntington Ingalls. God bless you all. God bless America. Semper Paratus. To the Huntington Ingalls Industry Shipyard team, to Brian Kuchis, your team, what a special day and what an honor it is for both Charlie and I to be here and participate in the christening of this ninth National Security Cutter. You know, the motto of this fine ship, energy, efficiency, courage, it's emblazoned on National Security Stone seal and it epitomizes that man that Admiral Ray talked about, Elmer, Archie, Fowler, Stone, our aviators, our cuttermen, our boat coxswains, our mission support experts. They do, in fact, respond energetically. They respond courageously, and they sure are efficient. There's no better investment of a taxpayer dollar, I would argue, than in the United States Coast Guard and the men and women that execute the nation's business. Such a special legacy really deserves to be emblazoned on such a special ship as 758 behind me, that legend-class ship. Remarkably sophisticated, open ocean capabilities, tremendously well-suited for the complex law enforcement, national defense, homeland security missions that they are going to be tasked to do for decades to come. And when provided the proper tools, like this fine piece of steel behind me, they get it done. They get it done like no one else in America. But you know, the success wouldn't be possible without the partnership that we find right here in Pascagoula with HII. This shipyard is developing and delivering these ships on schedule, on budget, bringing the much needed capability we've all talked about on this platform today to the forefront of the nation's security and defense. But it's really a time, just again, to say a hearty thank you to all those involved here at HII in delivering this capability. And I know there's a 10th and 11th and who knows beyond that. And we're going to continue this partnership. And today, 758 takes on the persona of her namesake, Coast Guard Aviator Number 1, Elmer Stone. And it's very appropriate that Ms. Laura Cavallo, the grandniece of Elmer Stone, is with us today. She will christen the new ship with a piece of her past, that spirit of dedication and innovation that was embodied by Commander Elmer Stone. Ms. Cavallo, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for being here as the ship's sponsor. Thank you all for being here today. God bless America, God bless the Coast Guard, and Semper Paratus, thank you.
For each christening, we randomly select a young lady who is affiliated with one of our shipbuilders to be our flower girl for the ceremony. Our flower girl for Stone is the daughter of Ingalls shipfitter Robert Brown and his wife Natalie. Please welcome Miss Paisley Brown. We've had some great speeches and remarks this morning, but now it's time for the real event, Christening Stone. In the name of the United States of America, I christen the stone. May God bless her and all who sail in her. 